We're joined now by trainer Paul Hennessy. Paul, how are you getting on this morning? Great, it's great. Look, the sun is shining, the horses are in good form, and isn't it wonderful to be here? Paul, I wasn't here last year, but from what I've heard, it was a spectacle for you. Yeah, it was an amazing experience, the whole thing. Um, you know, obviously we had to stay in, in, the, in our own little area in the best made stand, but the, the racing was just spectacular. And I mean, Cheltenham is spectacular anyway, so. And then for the mare to run the way she ran and win the race was just, oh, you know, off the Richter scale, it was wonderful. For anyone who wouldn't know who she is, tell yeah, us. Heaven Help Us is her name. She won the Coral Cup last year. So we have her back again this year now. We're going up in grade. We're going to have a go at the mayor's race, the grade one race. You know what I mean? So look at you know, to go over here and enjoy it and enjoy it while we can. You know what I mean? So we're blessed to be here and that's it. Well, the name Heaven Help Us, you say we're blessed to be here. Is religion important to you? Probably, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. If I hadn't got my faith, it'd be a waste of time. What's the point of being here? Yeah. So, um, yeah, no, look at it. The name just came to me when it came to name and already. It's not a name I had put aside. It's an expression a lot of older generation would have used, mm -hmm. sort of. And my mother probably used it a lot, especially with someone like me that was wild growing up. Well, you weren't and, wild, and, Paul. And, and breaking all the rules. I can't say, imagine that. Help us. What are we going to do with it? <laughs> so, anyway, this is what I'm doing, mother. And I know she loves it. She's 94 years of age. God bless her. And, She'll get as much fun out of this as we will. How was she last year? The bear or my mother? Your mother, <laughs> your mother. How did she <laughs> handle it yeah, no, all? She was great. Actually, she loves it. I'm the, the black sheep. I have brothers that are, have proper jobs and sisters that have proper jobs, nurses and architects and all those things. And I train greyhounds and horses. So it's a kind of foreign, but she loves it. She gets a great kick out of it. So initially you trained greyhounds and then went into... How did that happen? How did that transition happen? Or are you still with the greyhounds a bit? Oh, yeah, no, we're still with the you greyhounds, are. yeah. And, um, well, we just used to keep a mare at home, um, always, kind of, down through the years. And um, we just had this little horse with Tony Mullins. And when he came home for the winter, a friend of mine... He wasn't great now, but when he came home for the winter, a friend of mine suggested, Martin, Lenny, why don't you go train him yourself? And I thought it was madness. But we did, we tried and... Shami Heffernan was a big help to me at mm. the time, kind of look. And uh, he coached me. I'd bring him up to the car and Shami would sit and he'd say, do this now and do that and then all the rest. But anyway, the little horse ran in Dundalk one evening and won for us. And um, that was just amazing. And that was it. Like he went, it went on from there. Cheers, buddy was his name. He ran a little horse. And, mm -hmm. As I say, we were, we were bitten by the bug completely then when he won. You know what I mean? So anyway, here we are. And Paul, when the mare went by the line last year, there's a great scene of his shot of you running up the gallop alongside no, her and trying, trying coming, to keep up with her. I was coming to the end of me run at that stage now, friend. <laughs> um, you know what I mean? But um, that was amazing. Like, you know, just standing down there in the shoot, and I could see her when she jumped to second last, she went slightly, or no, the third last, yeah. And the horse beside her nodded slightly, and she just got that half length. Mm. And I said, This is it, it's going to happen. I couldn't believe it. You know what I mean? I have goosebumps but, thinking about yeah, it. Yeah, oh no, it's unbelievable. <laughs> and Richie was amazing and turned for home. Like, you know, you have that dream that that cap, it's on TV, that picture of the horses coming up the hill in Cheltenham mm. and the swing on the bend and turn in. And here's your horse coming up the angle changes. And, yeah, and, she, and Richie just sitting there, you know what I mean? I said, Oh, mother of God. <laughs> you know what I mean? But look, it was just wonderful. She took off and. and, and that was it, you know what I mean? It's just something that happened. And Paul, unfortunately, no, nobody was there last year. It was a bit eerie, but he got a great guard of honour on the way back in. Look, as I tell you the truth, Fran, when she crossed the line, I didn't know there were five million <laughs> or five people here. It was just, for me, it was just something that, you know what I mean? Like, I, I couldn't take it all in, to be honest. Um, well, I did a bit, I suppose. The only thing I said to Richie coming back in along, I said, Richie, you know, it's brilliant to come over and win and do everything else. I said, the only thing I can say to you is, keep your feet on the ground, you know, don't waste this opportunity, mm. don't come around too often. And he hasn't, he's been brilliant, he's gone to America and had a great run in America and he got an injury, he's back now and he's riding winners again now, so thank God, she's been good to him too, you know what I mean? So look at this, the whole story is wonderful, thank God, you know. Well hopefully the story continues this week for you Paul. Thank you. The very thank best of luck, enjoy it, hopefully you can let the hair oh, down no, at some will. point and we let will. the old wild you out again. No, that lad is locked away. <laughs> <laughs> Paul Hennessy, thank you so much. Okay, Be sure to follow all of our socials uh, at HRI Racing to keep up with all we're at this week.